Hey everybody, welcome into this new video text press. I'm going to be showing you a few tips and tricks from the actual site, Google site of Google actually. So if you don't know what is exactly the Google site, this is a great place to create your very first website totally for free. You don't have to pay absolutely for anything. And the best part is that we can use a lot of stuff. So people are actually, um, let's say, not familiarized with this part of the site. So I'm going to be showing you a few tips and tricks that you can use in order to get started here into your actual website. I mean, let's say this is totally for free. And since this is for free, you might see that this is actually basic, but it's not that basic because actually we have done things that we're actually a little bit proud of. For example, we have just added this ring neck and we are selling this product uh, from Amazon and we added our custom link of buying, PayPal links and all of that. So if you think about it, we actually done really, really great work. So I'm going to be showing you just a few tricks and tricks. For example, the very first one is to receive payment. And the most important one is to receive payments here into your actual site. So let's say, for example, that here I do have this online store. So I'm going to click into, let's say, for example, this one. And now in here, let's say that you have all of your products and if you scroll all the way down, you wanted to add, let's say like a content block like this. So you wanted to add your product, your title, your description, and down here you wanted to add the famous button of buy now. So how can we integrate this? Let's say that I wanted to go here into plus, let's go and select images. I select something that we have just added automatically or just look out for the into Google images. For example, let's go and look out for a common tree or roses, for example, really easy, right? So for example, let's say this is the product. So I wanted to add the, let's say the button that says buy now. So to do this, to do the process is actually really, really simple. There's two ways that we can do this. The first one is to hit just into insert and look out for the one that says a uh, button like this. So I just click it. Name should be by now or by here. And here into linked, you can whether create your PayPal account or you can add your bank account, whatever. Let's say for example, paypal.com. I'm going to hit triple W and insert. And just like that, I have now my product with the buy now button. But if I add a integration, I'm going to delete this actual button and I'm going to add something directly from Stripe. Now, Stripe is a place where you can, let's say, charge, make payments, um, billing stuff, balances, pay to customers and even add your own products. If I go directly into my payments of the dashboard of Stripe, I can collect I can start by creating an actual link to a checkout page. This is something that's going to be really, really, really useful. So creating a payment link is going to be helping you to see another, something like this. So it's going to be really, really worth it. You can add your new product or you can um, create something totally for free. Let's say, for example, I have just added this one. So I wanted to do exactly the same thing with these product, but inside Stripe. Creating a, a Stripe account is actually really, really simple and it just won't take you more than five minutes actually. So what I'm gonna be doing here is try to save this stuff. Let's create a link, a really, really fast link. And here I have the buy button. I click into buy button and this one should be creating me a code. So if I copy this code, uh, of course, I wanted to configure this as by like this language should be English. Copy the code. I'm going to go back into Google Sites and instead of choosing button, I'm going to choose embeamed embeamed code. I paste the code. I hit into next and I hit into insert. And this is how it should be looking my new buy button. So whether it's going to be showing you like this or if you only want to see the buy button, then I can just edit this once again. So I'm going to go back. Let's say into save changes and copy the code. There we go. And do exactly the same process. Paste next. Even you can add your own QR code if you wanted to, to make the payment. Like it's going to be actually looking great, but that totally depends on you. So this is something that's going to be really, really useful. Something else that I can totally suggest to you is to add Google Forms. Now, Google Forms is, for example, a place where you can actually, let's say, make some contact forms, uh, contact information, you to make them sign up. So if I created something like this, I just get into select and insert 
and automatically it's going to be appearing into my actual website. I sign up here, their name, email address, phone number, Vimeo link. If you don't have any kind of form, you can create one totally for free directly into Google Forms and try Forms for the work. So the last tip on the trick that I can give you is to add all the elements that you want to see, for example, something directly from a calendar, everything about your social links, birthdays, slides, YouTube videos, and much more. Even you can add your own analytics of Google to track measurement, go into your settings, go into analytics and add your ID measurement and enable analytics and boom, you're actually good to go. Even you can create an announcement bar if you wanted to. And lastly, if you wanted to go into the next step and you wanted to add your custom domain into settings, go into custom domains, start the setup and you can buy a domain so you can have a custom domain. For example, instead of having sites.google.com, blah, 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 it's going to be called link, let's say, for example, techspress.com. So you can just import this in here directly and hit into next and import it right away. So as you can see, these are the tools that can be helping you to, let's say, drive some really great traffic and have the most advanced features of your Google site. Even if this is basic and totally for free, it doesn't mean that you cannot do a lot of stuff here into Google site. It's just a matter of you to understand what are the elements that the Google sites has to bring to us in order to get started with. And the very first part is that this is totally for free. So you have nothing to lose there. So with that being said, we have now reached the very end of the video. Now, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more great hosts of how we can get started here into our Google sites. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hopefully I can see you on our next time.